Hello, my name is Jasmine Fontanilla and I'm running to be your next vice president. I have been an active member in PAC since 2017 and after my first year joining PAC, I decided to run for philanthropy chair and I enjoyed my time on cabinet. I love those who are on cap with me and all our members. And I wanted to be a part of cabinet because PAC gave me a home just like it did for a lot of us. It was a place where we felt comfortable and helped us find some of our closest friends. And I was excited to be able to give back to it. However, my time on cabinet was a difficult year for me personally. I was experiencing mental health issues and wasn't able to put in as much effort as I wanted, in, wanted to in my position. As much as I wanted to rerun after that, I knew that it wouldn't be fair to anyone, including myself, those on CAB, and our club members. So I took some time to focus on myself. I can confidently say that I'm doing a lot better now in all areas of my life, and I know that I would be able to fulfill the duties as vice president. As vice president, my job is to be able to step in if the president cannot perform their duties and perform any tasks that are assigned to me by the president, therefore working very closely with the next president of this club. Knowing that the candidate running for presidency is Irene Choi, I have full confidence that we will be able to work well together. We've known each other for quite some time now and have a close relationship, but I know we wouldn't let that come in between a professional relationship. Another duty as vice president is being in charge of the Filipino Christmas Festival, which is one of PAC's biggest events in the fall. However, as of right now, fall 2020 will remain online. I haven't come up with any options for making PCF happen online, but that's because we work very closely with the campus for this event and I would wanna to talk to them first to discuss our plans. Since I won't be able to fully plan PCF like we normally do, I will focus more on my duty to our cabinet members. I believe that my experience as a previous cabinet member, my personality and skills, as well as my experience with and overcoming mental health problems makes me a great fit for this job. My previous cab experience will help me do my job to make sure that every cab member is fulfilling their own duties and keeping up with their events and planning. I will also be there to fill in for cabinet members when they need help with their responsibilities. I know I will be able to solve issues any cabinet member may have since I am someone who is very understanding, but also realistic and will be straightforward. It is also important to me as vice president to ensure the idea of cab support. It is not only my responsibility to make sure each cabinet member is doing their job, but also checking in on them. I truly understand the importance of CAB support, and if elected, it is one of my biggest priorities. I believe I can fulfill my duty to make sure everyone's mental health is okay and will encourage them to take a break when they need it. Lastly, one of my goals as vice president is to strengthen PAC, so it may continue to succeed in the future. I believe that we can achieve this by having a strong, strong cabinet, which is a job that falls under my position. There has been a loss of order and structure within cabinet, but I hope that I can bring that back by doing the best I can as vice president. I want to ensure that we can all work well together, but also maintain the line between personal matters and when we need to be professional and get the job done. PAC is one of the biggest and strongest clubs on campus. We don't discriminate who can join, and we also allow people from other schools to be a part of this club. The fact that there's so much love for this club just shows the impact we have on people and how important it is to keep this club going. I hope to continue that and will try my hardest as next year's vice president.